2012 is the year of energy. And the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at the University of Alabama is hosting a series of talks focused on energy. Bruce Burrow is here from Osher Lifelong Learning Institute to tell me more. Bruce, thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you very much. Bruce, let's talk a little bit about energy and what you guys are going to do. Why all the interest? Well, two reasons. The United Nations named 2012 as the year of energy, and the University of Alabama, not to be outdone, mm -hmm. named it as uh, energy uh, was the theme for the year. And the Osher Lifelong Learning, which I think you know is senior learning involved at the College of Continuing Studies, uh, decided to have an energy symposium because there's lots of questions. Uh, is solar and wind power good? Is hydrofracking bad? Is coal bad? Are environmentalists see uh, uh, coal under every tree? So we decided that we'd get uh, eight speakers from a diverse area of uh, energy and let them make, each make presentations. We're going to have every Thursday from noon to 1.30 at the Bryan Conference Center, open to the public, a different speaker. And what I asked each of them to do is make themselves look as good as they can possibly look. Um, uh, I'm going to read just to you, if you don't mind. Sure, absolutely. First one would be Walter Energy, which is the biggest coal mm -hmm. producer in Alabama. And uh, the second speaker will be um, Black Warrior River Keepers, mm -hmm. an environmentalist group who hopes that Walter Energy will go away. Now, they're not going to be there at the same time. Uh, I expect <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, September 27th, we're going to have a representative from Virant Energy Systems, which is a biofuels company. Mm -hmm. And biofuels simply means that they take things like kudzu mm -hmm. and uh, wood chips and turn it into sugar and turn that into a petroleum product. In fact, the Viren just got a, a contract with Coca-Cola to produce their plastic bottles huh. made out of kudzu. It's good use for it. Kudzu, uh, the never-ending supply. That's right. Uh, October 4th, we have uh, a Tuscaloosa-based Hunt Refining, which is a uh, oil explorer, uh, mm -hmm oil rig and refiner. In fact, they, as very few people know, they have a pipeline between Tuscaloosa and Mobile. Oh, wow. uh, October 11th, we have an energy supporter group uh, who's aligned with uh, Southern Company and uh, Alabama Power mm -hmm. called a Partnership for Accord Affordable Clean Energy. Mm. On October 18th, I think this is really interesting, Dr. Nick Tu, who's right here at the University of Alabama, is the state geologist Mm -hmm. And he's going to talk about the Alabama Oil and Gas Trust Fund. And I wish he were going to talk about that prior to September 18th, but we, when we have the constitutional amendment vote. There you can. are. Then October 25th, we have a representative from ExxonMobil, and they're going to talk about how much oil there is in the world, how, much, how long it's going to last, how much is here in the United States, how long that's going to last, and try to say as much truth as they can possibly say. That's, that's been a very <laughs> category. <laughs> that would make it a little bit contentious. Well, that's, gonna, that's right. Now, are you, you know going to have some, uh, some fact checkers in there with oh, the Oh, sure. There's all those Pinocchios that are going to be around. There we and are. then last, to clean everything up, is the Sierra Club uh, mm -hmm. and the vice chairman for the state of Alabama talking about true environmentalism. And I think everybody will have something they'll like and something they won't like. And so when I introduce each of the speakers, I'm going to ask everybody to remember that they're supposed to be very polite throughout the time. There we are. Well, that's what we're going to do. Well, that sounds like that's going to be a lot of fun. And, and it, you know, these are contentious issues for a great number of people. And they're important issues for everyone who's watching right now, people all across the country. So it's wonderful that you guys are doing this. Well, that's one reason why we're trying to make it known that this is not just an OLLI program, but it's mm -hmm. very definitely open to the public. We want students, we'd like faculty members, people in Tuscaloosa, everybody come, just bring your manners. All right, super. Bruce, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. The Energy Symposium starts Thursday, September 13th at the Bryant Conference Center. The first speaker begins at noon. You can find out more online at training.ua.edu slash OLLI or by calling 205-348-3002.